Israel carried out waves of retaliatory strikes in the Gaza Strip on Sunday after Palestinian rockets hit Israeli cities, in a deadly escalation that showed no signs of slowing and raised fears of war. Israeli air raid in Gaza Gaza Gazan authorities reported 23 Palestinians killed, including at least six militants, by Israeli strikes in the fighting that began Saturday with massive rocket fire from the Strip. Israel however disputed their account of the deaths of a pregnant woman and a baby, blaming errant fire from Hamas, the Islamist movement that rules the enclave. Four people were killed in Gaza rocket and missile strikes on southern Israel on Sunday. Three were confirmed as Israeli, the army said. The flare-up came as Hamas, the Islamist movement that rules the blockaded enclave sought further steps from Israel toward easing its blockade under a fragile months-old ceasefire. Nineteen Palestinians were killed on Sunday, including a commander for Hamas's armed wing who Israel said it targeted due to his role in transferring money from Iran to militant groups in the Gaza Strip. It was a rare admission of a targeted killing by Israel's army. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Sunday morning he instructed the military to continue its massive strikes on terror elements in the Gaza Strip. He said he had also ordered reinforcements near Gaza. Hamas leader Ismail Hanayu said in a statement on Sunday night that returning to a state of calm is possible if Israel committed to a complete ceasefire. Without it, the arena could face many rounds of confrontation, he said. Rocket fire and Israeli strikes continued into Sunday evening. Israel said its strikes were in response to Hamas and Islamic Jihad firing more than 600 rockets or mortars across the border since Saturday, with Israeli air defenses intercepting more than 150. Dash immediately to escalate Dash in addition to those killed and injured, the rockets repeatedly set off air raid alarms in southern Israel and sent residents running to shelters while also damaging houses. At least 35 of the rockets fell in urban areas, according to the army. The army said its tanks and planes hit some 320 militant targets in Gaza in response. It targeted militant sites and in some cases militants themselves as well as their homes if they were found to be storing weapons, military spokesman Jonathan Kanrukas said. Several buildings in Gaza City were destroyed. Israel said one of the buildings included Hamas military intelligence and security offices, 